Welcome to Edu Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn about distance. When an object moves or it is in motion, it covers a certain length of path. And this actual path length covered by the object is known as distance consider this curve the length of this curve is known as distance when an object moves along this curve abc the actual path of the length that is the circumference or the perimeter of this curve is the distance covered by the object now we come to discuss about displacement displacement means the line joining the initial position and final position of an object when an object undergoes a certain motion let us again consider this curve abc if we join initial position a and the final position b then this line segment ac is the displacement of the particle distance is a scalar quantity while displacement is a vector quantity the second difference is that distance is always greater than displacement because it is the actual length of the path along which the object moves for example an object moves along the side of square of length 1 meter then it distance distance covered is 4 meter while the displacement is always less than the distance as we can easily see the considered example in this example the in this example the final position and initial position of the object coincides hence the displacement of the object is zero considering the above all discussion we have the net effect is distance is always greater than or equal to displacement 